Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, I just finished watching Game of Thrones Season 8 Episode 5 and fuck. Um, I know Episodes 1 to 4 aren't that great or anything. But you know what? Episode 5 is a masterpiece. It is a 10 out of 10. I don't care who. I, I don't care what people say. I don't I, I, I don't I don't care, okay? This episode, in my opinion, is a 10 out of 10. I rated a 10 out of 10. I completely enjoy it. There's not a single moment in, in the episode that feels dumb. It feels like it, it feels very different from the first four episodes. While the first four episodes are really slow and there are dumb moments, this episode totally defies that, okay? Um, I know some people may still hate the episode. Um, I kind of get where does that opinion come from because they think that Daenerys is just acting all crazy and it doesn't make sense and it totally ruins her character arc. But no, I think this is brilliant. All this character arc setting up for her to become a villain. Daenerys is a villain. I know Cersei is a total bitch. I know Cersei is a bad person and I want her to die, but now I want Daenerys to die even more than I want Cersei to die. <coughs> Fuck. What Daenerys did, what Danny did to King's Landing in this episode is so horrifying. So, so horrifying. It, man, I just, I, I wish that episode three would be as horrifying as this. There's, I've never seen anything more horrifying in season eight than this. Like houses are being burnt, people getting killed, innocent people screaming, women, children, and it's all Daenerys. The bell's rung, okay? King's Landing surrendered. They surrendered. Daenerys agreed to, to Tyrion that she would stop if the bell's rung. She didn't stop. It's... Oh, fuck. And then, of course, Jamie comes to King's Landing as well. And Euron... <coughs> Euron tried to, like, kill him before he goes to Cersei. Even though Jamie went to Cersei not to kill her, but to save her. Euron tried to kill Jamie, And I legit thought Euron would kill Jamie. If that did happen, I would be real pissed off. But no... Uh, Euron didn't die on screen, but uh, neither did Jamie at the end, though. Oh, the ending of the episode, it just tears me up. I, I actually cried. Legitimately. It's been a while since I have cried in, an, in a Game of Thrones episode, okay? Like, last time I cried was... I, uh, mm, I think... I don't know. I don't know. I think it was red wedding, but it wasn't like like tears, like just wet eyes. But I never thought I would cry for Cersei and Jaime. I, I never expected that to happen. When Cersei when Cersei said, I, I want my baby I want my baby to live, I want my baby to live, it really hit me. I'm not a mother, but yet it still hit me so hard. It's just and then Arya and, and the Hound, they, they went to King's Landing and the Hound wanted revenge to, and kill the mount, mountain. And, and, and he, he just couldn't kill him. He's unkillable. He's unbreakable. And, and the mountain was like so near to crushing the Hound's head until they both just jumped off the, the Red Keep and they both died and oh my gosh a gray worm needs to die too i mean i mean gray worm was just so pissed off even though the bell rung gray worm didn't stop only john snow stopped john snow is the only rational one john snow has to be king okay this there's no way out okay danny must die in episode six or else i'll i'll be damned there are just so many great scenes so many great shots in here too 
so many beautifully shot scenes. Uh, Miguel Sapochnik, man, shout out. Um, when, when the Golden Company assembled and all, it's really beautiful. And, um, oh, man. And Kyburn also died, but that's like a more minor death. I think Kyburn should die, yeah. And, wow, Tyrion's face when he saw Daenerys charging into King's Landing, even though the bells rung, he was like, <sighs> you know, first of all, the acting performance, it, it just clinches my soul. Man, I so look forward for Tyrion to betray Danny. I so look forward to Jon becoming king. And I so wish that Arya or Jon would just straight up kill Daenerys, okay? Or maybe, or maybe, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. Danny must die. Danny must die. Uh, Varys also died in the beginning. Uh, a scene that I've been anticipating for quite some time now because earlier on, a couple seasons ago, Melisandre sort of predicted Varys' death. And um, yeah, I kind of wish his death would be a little more hard-hitting though, but still a painful one to watch. Overall, this episode is a fucking masterpiece, okay? It's magnificent. It's, it's, uh, it's, wow. Wow. It's a 10 out of 10, and I wish the finale is just as good and maybe even better. 10 out of 10, for sure. 